things polite people never do in the airplane or at the airport whether you are traveling for business purposes family visit or friends leisure tourism you kind of want to relax when you sit in the plane and i wish some passengers would know that they are not in their private home so therefore certain things are not okay and not good etiquette considering other passengers or other people involved when you fly frequently you see all kinds of behavior and things and obviously there are some people or passengers that do not have a very good manners on a day-to-day -day life so unfortunately there's a chance that their behavior on the plane will just be unpleasant however many decent people are simply not aware of the etiquette rules on the plane it's quite normal especially if no one has ever told them or they don't fly often nonetheless such behavior still remains annoying and can be very unpleasant for people or other passengers on board to avoid being that passenger i'm about to mention some of the things i find it very not so charming and unpleasant and actually i have found out from some of my other friends that also travel that they also find it very unpleasant and annoying so I have made a research and based on that I realized that almost like 80-90% passengers do not like this kind of behavior so after watching this video if you find yourself doing this sometimes you know humans we tend to do things we are not aware of we don't realize this is what we do that is offending or other people find it uncharming if you think you are such person and you do this then after watching this video kindly put an end of it because we don't want it <laughs> number one which i dislike the queue jumpers yes those who want to join the queue they are so in a rush than the other passengers they just want to maneuver the rest and just go in the front even though it's not their turn their zone numbers have not been called please follow the boarding orders the zone numbers is indicated on your boarding pass for a reason my dear passengers in this scenario i'm gonna use klm because i always fly with klm klm boarding passengers into the flight depends on your travel class and frequent flyer status before boarding officially starts klm first invite families with babies up to two years old and passengers who need mobility assistance to proceed to the gate after they have been helped first then the standard boarding procedure begins they always board business passengers first followed by people that have sky priority the lowest booking class are zone 5 the others are zone 4 and the three highest economy booking class are zone 3 zone 4 and 5 often invited to board in same time and here comes my problem the moment klm start to announce the zone numbers the sky priority they are boarding the business class they are boarding zone one zone two and then you see those who are on zone four and zone five they will quickly stand up and join the queue trying to board meanwhile their zone numbers have not been called okay so when they do this when they get to the counter the staff have to send them back to go back and join the queue because their zone numbers hasn't been called yet when they do this it's kind of make it the whole queue messy and block and delay the process of boarding for both other passengers and the klm staff it makes it so chaotic so please and please ghana for mamutu kwang exercise patience if you don't know your zone number you can always show your boarding pass to the staffs or a nearby passenger people are always nice and kind to assist you they will tell you your zone number so you can wait and board accordingly okay this i'm talking about is at kotika airport 
when you get to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport when you're coming from Amsterdam to Kotoka it's even worse I have seen the worst of it it's the same old same so please Ghanaians exercise patience wait till your turn to board okay secondly keep your shoes and socks on yes i find it so uncharming when i see some passengers do these things again you are not in your personal homes or you are not in your personal space so seven behaviors and acting should be abolished whilst you are on board you may wear shoes that you find it comfortable about so you may not need to remove your shoes and socks again removing your shoes and socks on an airplane may be disturbing and even offensive to other passengers on board plus we are tired of inhaling and smelling those <laughs> number three passengers who stand up right away when the plane lands and have to wait 15 minutes before getting off the aircraft why don't you just sit down and wait please exercise patient wait till the plane lands completely you unbuckle your seat belt and off you go stop standing in front of people's shoulders the fourth one wait for your turn when disembarking the aircraft yes wait for your turn when the plane lands and you are leaving the aircraft for me this one is the most exasperating among all the list i find it so irritating and so annoying yes so my dear passengers wait it's row by row seats by seats one passenger after the other so when the plane lands allow those seats in front of you to disembark and then those behind you can come forward don't rush from the back and try to maneuver those who are in front of you that is not so good manners that is not so good etiquette on the airplane again the Ghanaian passengers my Ghanaian people are guilty of this the moment it lands those from the back they are rushing to maneuver those who are sitting on the first row this is not good Ghana for my GD crowd I think unless in few circumstances you are transiting and you have a very short connecting flight that if you don't rush you might miss your flight in this case it's very fine it's totally okay for other passengers other than that please be patient wait till it's your turn your seat and then you disembark number five do not drink too much excessively whilst coming on board yes the boozes don't drink too much whilst coming to the airport of course you can take a beer or two within your own range but never overdo it remember you have to be considerate because you're going to sit to the next passenger you know when you drink too much it can be unpleasant especially when you are breathing it's not very polite and nice to the next passenger it's not like you're going to the nightclub or you're going to the pub you're going to the airport you're going to fly so be considerate in some actions and you know the saying drunk passengers can be so unpredictable sometimes the cabin crew can even refuse a passenger from boarding the aircraft he or she is too intoxicated and of course they are within their right to kick you out from the plane so please try to limit yourself to one or two drinks not more number six the real seats kicker yeah this can also be very annoying kicking the seat of a passenger in front of you can be so annoying and irritating during flight because you know we fly to relax somehow in the plane and the next thing you know a passenger is kicking the back of your seat while you are trying to relax or sleep most passengers I have seen that do this often are children and of course some few grown-ups I think they forget themselves that there are other passengers sitting in front of them so please be mindful of this if you ever find yourself in this situation kindly tell 
the person behind you to stop as it's disturbing you and it's continuing then you can tell the carbon crew they will assist in helping or if the person is too troublesome sometimes they will just move you to different seats if there's one available the last i have on my list is be mindful when you are reclining your seats yes be very considerate because there's always a next passenger behind you so when you are reclining whether to relax or to sleep do it gently and slowly whilst you are reclining your seat so not to cause any incident once on a KLM fly there was a gentleman on my right I was sitting in the middle the lady in front of this gentleman was I think I don't know what happened but she was struggling to recline her seat and she did she did it impatiently she just reclined it at once and then boom the man the gentleman beside me had an orange juice on the table and then it ended up spilling on his trousers and on the floor of course the gentleman informed the lady what has happened she was very apologetic and nice but you know it always be conscious and gentle when reclining your seat also try not to wiggle your seat too much to cause too much movement because if not as a result of your wiggleness the next passenger behind you might be the one suffering okay so guys before i end this video i would like to know have you ever experienced this kind of things i have just mentioned on my list or if you happen to know someone who have experienced such things and they have talked about it with you put it in the comment section below see you again in my next video